Hey guys, give me one second while I set up the live chat on my phone because I don't have a second monitor. <laughs> my second monitor is my phone. <laughs> Not very ideal, but it works, you know. You gotta work with what you have. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Opening up the chat. Hopefully I don't get any phone calls while I'm doing this. I'll just uh, turn off my data. That'll probably help. Whoever needs to talk to me, they can just message me. All right, let's get started. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's that yummy guy. Last stream, I made a little bit of a mistake, and it was going in, looking for items, not knowing what the hell I was doing in the breakdown event. But this time, I've come a little more prepared with knowledge, and a couple of tips to help you get to the burrito fast. Maybe even make a lot of them. My mistake last time was to make this entire facility to print the burritos at least this was the second phase construction and there were no burritos uh, let's put it this way there were the burrito was not available for construction because not all of the ingredients were were available you know phase one would let you make Phase 1 stuff in the small printer with the unknown biofuel, noxothane, and these this cosmic automaton. Then phase 2 would allow you to make arm nuggets, noxomatons, and so forth. Now phase 3, you finally get the last ingredient, which is the leak. The leak allows you to make the arm nugget. Let me go over here to the little platforms I prepared for you to explain better. So the leak was released, right? And to make one burrito, you need two leaks. One for the Om Nugget process, and then one for the burrito itself. So let me make this, let me sum it up as fast as I can. That's short and concise, because really, none of these items right here, we don't have to prioritize them anymore. The last stream, part of my mistake was thinking that I had to make machines to make everything automatic, so that everything can be printed automatically, but apparently that's not possible. People have looked into it, and... I've looked at a couple machines and I, don't, I just don't see the way right now. If, if you do, you can comment that down below and then I'll look into it. We can focus now on just getting these. These items are now found on the third, let's say, they're found close to the core of the planet. So we don't have to look around in the first layers of the planet anymore. We can just go down deeper. And even if you did went to the if you even if you did go to the first layers, you would not find the request what are they called? The research aid capsules. They've all been moved to the inner cores of the planet. So you might find snowmen that release all of these, but you won't find the capsules that have a bunch of items inside. 
you, you will find those capsules down below. So, we're going to focus on getting these. We will be getting these too, but they're not going to be priority. Apart from the cosmic bobble, this, this is actually necessary. And in case you need to know also, that it, this might help you visualize things better. Uh, let's start from over here from the burrito. The burrito requires four items, right? And it's made in the large printer because it requires the four items. The large printer has four slots to combine into one item. Now, only two of these are craftable. The other two you find on the planet. So we're gonna split. We're gonna split a little deeper. This is called the squasha thing. The squasha thing is made with a couple of the basic items over here, just two of them. And this is where it gets really complicated. It's the arm nugget. This arm nugget was not possible until phase three because of the leak. All right, so. We go to the Om Nugget. The Om Nugget is split into three items. And these three items are split into eight items. That, so all of this makes one Om Nugget. The Noxomaton 002 requires you to combine a leak, the Automaton, and the Noxithane. You can see the colors kind of match the look of the item here and then the cosmic squash requires resin pound unknown biofuel and a cosmic bobble that's this is the reason we're gonna need cosmic bobbles for the most part is to make this little cosmic squash because i already have a lot of these cosmic automatons they won't have much priority at least not yet and as for the Cosmic Automaton, that only requires two items. The Cosmic Bobble and the Automaton 009. Alright, so hopefully that clarifies things a little bit. These are made in the um, small printer. Excuse me. That, no, that's a mistake. This is made in the small printer. Only this one. And these two are made in the medium printer because they require three items each. Okay? And then there's this one that requires the uh, large printer. Let me check something real quick. Yeah, okay. Anyways, that's the little explanation I have for the process to make a burrito. Now, the goal of this video is going to be to fill up a canister with burritos. Yes, you can fill canisters. With burritos if you didn't know yet you just take this here you put it on the top and if you fill it up to the brim you can send 30 32 plus 1 that's 33 burritos into space because that little canister goes up on top of the rocket right here and whatever you can fit on the smaller sockets so let's say there's eight sockets 33 plus 8 that's 11 right 33 41 but yeah my math is weird <laughs> my math is weird uh now if, if you didn't also know you can fill the canister and the this is not it hold up it needs to be the gas one here we go i thought i had things set up <laughs> but I, I mixed them up because they look a little bit alike these two that's a Soil canister if it goes up inside the base over there. All right, so the arm nugget can be fit in here. It's going to be a canister for the arm nugget. And anything that resembles uh, gas can be fit into the gas canister. See? So the squashothane and the unknown biofuel, noxothane, everything except for the cosmic bobble. This actually does not fit in either of these canisters. Oh, also, the Cosmic Automaton and anything made with the robot. 
plus the leak and the resin pound they can all be fit into the resource canister like that see it accepts it so to ease the transportation process rather than using medium uh storages i prepared this little this tiny little row over here with a bunch of gas and resource canisters and then for the cosmic bubbles i have this one in the back prepared so we're gonna fill this up with cosmic bubbles and whatever else i might need and also bringing i'm also bringing this crane because down in the core it's a little hard to get around i need to prepare a base down there carve out a cave to make a base so that i can make a railway a little transport system to bring myself and resources up easier because there's barely any gravity in the core and it's really hard to drive around and the if if the rover gets flipped over or stuck somewhere <laughs> we might lose all of this stuff so i don't want that we're gonna want a train system that does not rely on gravity for transportation all right with that said let me see if i didn't miss anything before we start this voyage little my little pets are fed I can, i'm gonna give them a little something before i go take that hey take it here you go let's plant these right here all right i think we're ready to go down to the cave our drills are ready our slots are ready we got resin pound sorry resin compound and laterite to open up capsules that we fi find down in the in the cave that's for power there are powered capsules we might need something else let me see no no i think this will do these two qtrtgs mm-hmm mm-hmm that's pretty much it let me turn on the light on my character i'm uh astro near i get a little ocd sometimes i got a little extra fuel for my jetpack packagers for the capsule lids oh that's something that i need packagers I, I need to bring more of those let me switch these around it's gonna be a medium storage for packagers only and i need five of them i think i have graphite for that the graphite here we go oh we have exactly five <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a coincidence let's do it if you haven't already found that leaks you should know that you can find them now in phase three if you were confused about that and you can only find them in the deep in snowmen purple snowmen that is the purple snowmen will drop leaks and I think the purple capsules, mostly the snowman will be the source of the leaks. Okay, so I have graphite. Let's make the packagers real quick. You know what? Watch this. I'm gonna grab this little medium storage. Print out packagers in bulk into the medium storage. That'll make it so much faster. Hey! All right, I need to keep the thing on. Here we go. Get in there. Turn off this repeat because I don't want it to pick up graphite while I'm here. All right. Let's go. Into the deep. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I always forget stuff. Uh, I, want, I want the tractor to be pretty well lit. So let's grab one of these lights here. One of these work lights. I'm gonna put them on the back so that the trailer is easier to find while I'm down there. There you go. Let's go. Oh, look, there's a little debris pack that I left behind. I mentioned in the previous stream that I wanted to light the way down into the cave with cables 
rather than tethers. I think that would look so cool. So maybe part of the train system is going to be... Okay, this is a little sketchy here. I need to fix this path. There we go. Yeah, because the, the time that I made this path, it was with a tractor, not with a rover. But yeah, uh, last stream I mentioned that I was going to make a train system. Not a train system, a lighting system all the way down. Well, that's changed. Now it's going to be a rail system, probably with lit uh railways it's gonna look really cool it's gonna be easier to follow down if i'm not using the train all right so here's the mushroom biome we're gonna keep going though because as you can see there's no more pods anywhere you can only find snowmen there's one over there does that one drop leak i don't remember let's go check oh, 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 oh. important i brought spare oxygen tanks for this if i had to deviate for any reason Oh shit, wait a second. I heard something. Oh look, here's the snowman. Can I reach that one? Oh no, that's not it. Hey you, I see you. You gotta be food. Oh wait. I mean, that shit. Oh look, there's a robot here too. Oh, if I fall down there, those plants are going to stab me to death. And that would be a very embarrassing death. <laughs> there you go. Bring the danger just to be safe. Does anybody else wish that they added uh, some kind of creature to the game that moved instead of just static plants? Let me put that over there. I'm going to bring that to the, to the rover. But yeah, see, we are in the mushroom layer and there's still no sign of leaks. So let's take this back over here, package it. We're just gonna leave it on the side. Oh, wait a second. Why don't I just blow it up? Put that over there. We have the dynamite. It's gonna be better to carry exo chips than to carry a whole damn package. I don't have a slot for that in the rover. Not one that I want to use, that is. Let's put that right there. Blow it up. Boom! The range on that explosion is insane, dude. Alright, see what we got. Exo chip. Some debris. Ah, you can stay there. Alright. Got a couple of exo chips. Let's put that on, on the rover. Whoops. Watch up thing. Get in there. Okay. Put these oxygen tanks back in there. It's not letting me. Hold up. Oh, excuse me. Oof. I just had some food, and I guess that's the stomach, the gas for my stomach. Uh, you know what? I'll keep one oxygen tank on me. Let's go. So the goal right now is to go down there. We're gonna go to the deepest layer that we can. To make a production facility. And we have to dig our way. Not dig our way. We have to carve out a space for, uh, for a train station. And, uh, and also because there's so many dooms or walls down there that you just can't see anything. Already I'm feeling a little bit of loss in gravity. This rover is feeling very lightweight. We're almost there. Okay. Oh, see, this was another mistake of mine last stream. I thought that I found everything that I needed right here in this slot. This uh, layer of the cave system. Because I found leaks, and I was like, oh, that's all I need. And I took a bunch of leaks from the snowman, opened a couple of pods, and I found resipound, squash thane, and other goodies in here. And I thought that was it. 
But then, after a little bit of research, I found that you actually can find way better stuff if you go deeper. Also, I need to fix this tethering system on the way down. I'll fix that later. First, I'm going to start carving down. Because the base is not going to be here. It's going to be down there. I can make a secondary base, though. I'm going to go down. There we go. I wish there was a better way to to control this thing. Because look, if I zoom in while I'm in the cave, it's really hard to see where I'm going. And if I look down, the rover digs down. If I look up... Oh, wait. I think I'm here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. It's fine. We're going to make it. We're almost there. We can still go down a little deeper. Oh, there's a resin pound rolling down. <laughs> no. No, wait, 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 wait. Where's the resin pound? All right. Nice. Let's put that over here. Boom. Our first resin pound of the day. Let's go. We're still not deep enough. Let's keep going. I know there's already a path, but I'm making it a little deeper down. Because I really hate cramped spaces. It's really hard to drive a rover in cramped spaces. Mostly because of the camera angle. You start getting your camera pushed around by the walls, and that's really annoying. Plus, this is going to make the, the train ride a little more comfortable. Ooh, oh, 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 there's another res I found. Up. Put that right there. Keep going. Hey, there's the breed down there. I probably saw it and ignored it last time. Oh, could this be it? I think this might be the last layer that we need to go to. So let's stop here real quick. Oh yeah. Yep. We're deep into the core. Look at that. There's the structure for the center. That thing leads down into the core of the planet. Alright. We're gonna set up shop here. Flattens this up real nice. We really need a lighting system down here. Okay. I'm not gonna need this light right now so let's put it on the rover okay so let's think for a second if this is going to be our base do we have anything useful in this scrap no okay i'm going to write down a couple of things to bring down let's grab the notepad i have on my desk and we're probably going to need a shredder so that we don't have to bring stuff up to shred. We can shred things right here. So let's make an extra large shredder. Extra large shredder. We're going to need a lot of rail junctions. Rail posts, I mean. And the rail junctions are not gonna be used that much let's use the rail posts and junctions we're also gonna need let's see platforms with printers so we might need to print stuff down here What else? You guys have any ideas? Oh, 
Oh, also, you know, obviously for the rail posts, I need the train or what, whatever it's called. Let me see. I need to know what it's called. It's been a while. Made in the large, sorry, the medium printer, the rail engine. Hey, Dova, what's up, my bro? What's up, my man? What the hell you doing here? Real engine. <laughs> Paste. <laughs> oh, you're too much. Real car. Trying to meet quota like in Lethal Company. But this time the quota is the XO request platform that wants all these uh all these items we got here. So that we can unlock the visors and stuff for the breakdown event. <laughs> Alright. That sounds good. I'm honored to be background noise, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right there. All right, so we need platforms, an extra large shredder, a uh, platform for the extra large shredder. That means an extra large platform. Rail posts, junctions, platforms, sprinters, rail engine, car, and let's see. We might not have to get that much stuff. Y'all might say, hey, why don't you just pick up the items, put them on the rover and leave, but no, that, no, man. Sometimes you gotta complicate yourself to make things a little faster, you know? And burritos, I'm gonna need to make a lot of trips if I don't make the burritos down here. And you saw how long the way down is. Yeah, see, I already got two leaks. Oh, and that was in the blue snowman? I thought it was just the purple ones. Holy shit. I already got four leaks. Come here. Give me the leaks. What? Oh, where'd it go? There you are. All right, so I'm gonna package these debris up so that when I... Oh, wait, what? why am I gonna package them up if I'm just gonna recycle them when I bring the shredder? I'm just gonna put them on the side. Put that there, put that there. Can I pick this up? There you go. Any more debris around here? Could have sworn... Ah, here it is. Get these out of here. Come on. Come on. Look at all these engines. I think last time I came down here, which was a very long time ago, probably bundled the these up here so that I could take them up. Why isn't... What's wrong with this thing? Look at the hole I'm carving and it's still stuck in the ground. Oh. Hey, yo, I think I'm gonna need a stronger drill or something. What the hell? Drill mod 2? Is there a drill mod 3 or something? That thing is going to be stuck there until I can come back with a drill mod 3. That's fine. I got diamonds already prepared, so it won't be, take too long. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. 
put this over here with the rest of the debris. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of light down here. If I'm not mistaken, the rail junctions and rail posts also right dynamite. Ooh! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> That's a good idea. Nah, no, I'm not gonna waste the dynamite on this unless unless there's an exo catch around here. Then I'll waste the diamond. Then that the the dynamite. I'm gonna bring a dynamite with me. That's a good idea, Dova. That'd be an oh right here under the ramp. Thanks, little catch. Nice. Let's bring this over. And let's fuck off. <laughs> I think that's such a ridiculous range. All right, pick this up. All thanks to Dova. Thank you for collaborating. This goes on the rover. Yeah, see, it's already really hard to drive down here. That's why I'm going to make a uh, train, train system. Look at how hard it is to turn around. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's get these seats out of here. Grab the medium storage. We're gonna, we're gonna flip this thing around. It's probably gonna make the turn a lot easier. Here we go. I have never done that before. That, I just came out with that out of my sleeve. Pulled that one out of my sleeve. So, uh, like I was saying, rail junctions and rail posts transfer electricity, if I'm not mistaken. Electricity and oxygen, so the tether system might not even be necessary to fix it up if we just use a train system. Yeah, I love, I love the mushroom biome down here. It looks so cool. Look at, look at that. Wouldn't that be insane if you just went underground and found giant mushrooms? Which reminds me, I, I, if this game had uh, VR compatibility, I would so be down for that, man. Just imagine... Try to picture yourself standing right next to this rover in first person. Look at that massive wheel right next to me. Like, imagine yourself from the perspective of the astronaut. Think your face is his face. And you're looking up like that. The scale of this fucking vehicle. Chances are I'm gonna have to dig the ceiling a little higher. Come on, you can make this turn. There you go. I'm going up. You see how long it is? How long it takes to get up? Oh, there's a little rogue robot here. Let's pick it up. We might need every material we can get. 
anything else? This looks like a compound. I'll take it. So we need to make this process as efficient as possible. And the train is really fast. It doesn't slow down uh, if it's going up. It just keeps a constant speed. Meanwhile, the rover, it slows down while it's going up. And in low gravity, it, it just doesn't have the, the grip to drive around fast in low gravity. All right, we're back in home base. Let's make a train system, bro. I won't need these oxygen tanks right now, so... Uh, let's put these back the way they were. This is the back. There we go. There you go. Put it over there. Put it over there. There you go. Where? It was right in front of me. Mm-hmm. Where did the oxygen go? Oh. Right there. I needed the drill mod. I have diamonds right here. I'm gonna pick them up. Pick one up. Also have a couple of rails, posts, rail posts, and junctions. Although these are the tall ones, I, I don't need the tall ones. I'll bring them anyways. Bring this over here. And let's look for the drill mod three. Girl man, where are you? Oh. There you are. Put this on the storage and then take this and put it on my gun. Okay, so rail posts. They're made in a small printer, right? Rail post bundle. They require resin and the aluminum. And then the junction requires two aluminum. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make uh, an entire medium storage to be filled with rail posts. Let me bring this one over here. Take this. Put this back here. Okay, so we're gonna make an entire medium storage filled with rail posts, and then half of one's gonna have uh, the rail junction. Yeah, the rail junction. We're probably not gonna need more than five, though, so. Because each bundle has five, you can see it right there. It uses five out of five. That's rail, five rail junctions. I'll bring two of those. And then these tall ones, because you never know. Aluminum and resin. Where's the aluminum? Aluminum! There you are. I'm gonna bring this over to the medium printer. Get this thing to fuck off. Rail junctions. Oh, and the rail car. What do I need for that? Rail engine, just resin, aluminum, and copper. Two resin and aluminum. I love how the train system is really cheap, relatively cheap, you know, because you need a lot of materials, but 
the they're not expensive so let's make one one rail car but we're not making that we're making posts wait that's made in a small printer let's take this out with the small one rail posts there you are. I'm gonna make four, eight rail posts. And, and, that little trick I always tell you about. We're gonna put the medium storage right there. Right there. So that the printer prints them directly into the storage. Saves us a lot of time. Look at that. Look at how fast that thing is. Alright. Let's pick these up while that thing's sprinting. And fill it up again with aluminum and resin. I'm out of graphite. I need to fill up the graphite later. Later. I don't need graphite right now. No! Wait a sec. There you go. Okay. I was gonna make one more junction bundle. Which requires two aluminum. Let me make that real quick. That's it for the rails for now. Let's do a little math. Put these back where they were. Uh, so, hey, wait a second. There's one missing. What's going on? Oh, because this one picked them up. So that's it for the rail posts and junctions. Now we need the rail car. It's made in the medium printer. It's called the rail engine, not the rail car. Rail engine and rail car. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't... Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. I just confused the names. Let's, uh... Get aluminums and resins. So for the rail engine, we need one resin, one aluminum, and one copper. Let's get that into my backpack. Get this thing organized. Oh, put this back in the plane. Scrap this thing. One aluminum, one resin, and one copper. Let's print that shit. And then the rail car is two resin. How many? Draw three power. I'm wondering how many rail cars can the engine pull. Give me one second while I look that up. How many cars can rail engine pull? Ask Grenier. Six cars. Uh, 
and that one the six rail cars in, can include the engine so that would be one engine and six car one engine and five cars all right fair enough we have the car the rail engine i mean put that over here i might need to make another rover or just focus Let's see we can change the focus of this thing okay okay all right here's what we're gonna do right now we don't need the collection system right no i think i'm just better off making another uh another rover let's put that back <laughs> Nova says that's cheating that's cheating hey look it's not my fault that the game doesn't tell me how many cars can it pull i don't want to find that out <laughs> i don't want to waste time and resources look it's, it should say it right here and if you went to the tractor that it hold on, hold on. pretty sure the tractor says how many can it pull yeah can tow a limited number of trailers look not even the tractor says how many it can pull can you just say the tractor can pull up to three trailers because <laughs> that's how much it can pull <laughs> all right so it's five cars yeah we're gonna need another rover for this shit rover is made in the medium printer right no 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 it's in the large printer gonna take a while so let's make that let's get that printing real quick the two exo chips i found down there plus aluminum alloy and rubber let's get the exo chips that's really easy here they are put those on the platform and then in the chemistry lab we need to make rubber which requires organic and resin. Get that. Get that going. And aluminum alloy. Aluminum, if I'm not mistaken, aluminum alloy is aluminum and carbon. Is it? No, 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 no. Sorry. It's not carbon. I remember. I'm trying to memorize the recipes. It's aluminum and copper so give me that give me the rubber and give me aluminum alloy Large rover, let's do it. This is gonna be the longest rover system I've had so far. And I think that's as much as I can connect together. If it even lets me connect it, because it doesn't it doesn't really say how much you can plug in. That's gonna take a while. Anyways. On with the rail posts, rail stuff. I need five cars. So that makes five. Five times two, that's ten resin. So let's pack two on me. And then take this. So we have ten resin. And then five aluminum. gonna pack those into into this thing right here one two three four five put 
put a couple of resin in there and then let's get pumping That's how you do it, son. Put as many as I can. And set it to automatic. Alright, what else can I do while these things are printing? I did need... I did need graphite, so I can do that on the side. Where's the canister? This is my little soil centrifuge system. Graphite, 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 Give me one. One of these. That's, that's right. Also. Also. Let me put this canister here. That's going to be filled up with uh, graphite. Mm-hmm. Filling up. Is it ready? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Not forgiven. I'll remember that. I'm gonna remember that, Dova. Next time I see you googling shit while we're playing, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna remember that. All right, let's just let that run. Large rover's done. Get this out of the way. Open this bad boy up. And plug her in. Hopefully it plugs. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Now we take these. We haul them along. There you go. And put this back. I'm low on resin. I should go get some more. Oh. Missed one. So while that finishes printing up, I'm gonna go get the resin. I have a little auto extractor. Somewhere around the map. It was over there in that beacon. Hold on one second. Put this in the tractor. Rover. Let's go get that resin. You would never. Nah, you would never. Kinda wanna make a train system for this too. How you doing over here? Oh no, it's not running. What's wrong with this thing? It has power. What? Oh no. Oh, I forgot to. Fuck. I hate when it happens. Put this right there. Plug this in. I'm gonna be low on resin for a while. Can I grab the resin, please? Thank you. Yeah, the output was set to on. I have to disable that. Shit, son. Forgot to do that. Have it set up properly. Let's get out of here. Pointless run. But by the time I come back, the printing should be done. Stupid auto extractor. Good 
Because we're going down. Let me see something. Did I bring the rover with me? Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, I forgot one essential thing. How can a train system work without a train, sa train station? Need a proper rain, sta rain station. <laughs> train station. What do I need for a train station? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> God, I'm burping a lot today. Two titanium, one copper, and one quartz. Two titaniums. I have a space. One copper. Oh, there's a quartz. That one little quartz that I leave there just in case. They actually come in useful. <laughs> just doing a good stretch here. What was it again? Copper. Alright. Large printer. Rail station. That's gonna take a while too. But while that's printing, I'm gonna load these into the rover. Take this over here. While that's printing, give me one minute. I got a phone call.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So what I was doing, in case you were asking yourself, I, I built the rail station, right? But I wasn't. I, I was gonna put it here, but I figured because I have the extra request pla platform on this side, I, ha I should probably make the rail station on this side instead. So I'm gonna pack these up. Or finish packing them up because I already started. These might be useful down there. I'm gonna remember these for later. Pack it up too. Where's the. Do I have packagers left? Yes, I do. Let's grab this one. Anything else that needs packaging? I think that's it. Let's put that there. Also, this this ceramic platform. So I always call them ceramic platforms because <laughs> they're made with ceramic. But these large storages. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Something about the large storage, whatever. I guess I made it and forgot about it. Put that there, put that there. That's gonna come in really handy. Anything else? Does this fit here? Yes, it does. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Extra large curved platform. Yeah, but I don't want to use this one. And saving that space for the extra large shredder, which requires, by the way, hold on a second. I might actually have to leave a couple of these too. Because I need to make a space for the extra large shredder, which occupies a medium, sorry, a large slot. And these are large slots. So there's going to be one for the platform and one for the thingamajig here. Shredder. Look, I already have a platform ready, so let's take that. Put it on the rover and the extra large shredder. How much does it cost? Two exochips, a tungsten carbide, and steel. Steel is made with... Let's make sure I have the materials first, because otherwise I'm just going to pack the one I have here and bring it down there. Steel. Steel requires argon. Do I have argon? Mm, nitrogen. Methane. Helium and no, I don't have argon. I don't want to make a trip to another planet right now. I'll do that off camera. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, let's just pack up the one I have. Unless you don't mind a trip to the other planet, I would have to build a whole atmosphere collection system. No, don't don't shred the packager. No. No, no. Can I turn this off? Can you imagine I shred the packager? That would be so funny. <laughs> Trying to pack up the shredder and, the, and it just gets shredded. Put this car here. Okay, so I got rail car, rail car, engine, car, car. I'm missing one, right? This is supposed to be six pieces. All right, Dova says go for it. But I already packaged this up. Did I go for it? What planet is it in anyways? I don't remember. Where are the gases? I 
Argon Vizania. I think I do have a functional base in Vizania. And because it requires wind, I'm going to go ahead and bring some wind power along to speed things up. I'm pretty sure I have an atmospheric condenser set up already. Just need a couple of things. Let's take the whole let's take the whole medium storage. And I'm probably going to want some batteries to go with it. Yeah, I need argon. Argon for steel. See, right there. I need argon to burn iron and carbon into steel. And then, what else I might need? Tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide doesn't require the gas. I can just make that right now, but I'll make it later. Let's go get some argon. Bring one of these empty gas canisters along. Make some batteries. The power of the condenser that's probably over there. I'm, I'm assuming I have one. Fill this up with batteries. So, uh, medium batteries. They require... Mm-hmm. Each battery requires one sink and one graphite. So let's make four of them. Put that over there. We'll make four medium batteries. Yeah, we're going to make that trip to Vizania to get some argon. All thanks to Dova. Wait a second, that's not the printer. This one. Let's get this light out of the way. That doesn't go there. Okay. Battery, battery, battery. Here we go. Let's make four of them. See, the thing about the atmospheric condenser is it requires so much power. It's 20 units per second. And none of these machines goes over 10. Right? Yeah, because the most you will get is like 10 units per second. I don't remember how much the shredder does. Yeah, the shredder is also 10, but the atmospheric condenser goes all the way up to 20 units per second. So we need a lot of power for that. If you want to speed things up, you know. One more battery. They're all going to fit in my backpack, so it's fine. I might want a platform as well. Which platform should I make for that? Let's see. It's not this one though. Let's do this one and put a large storage on top. And the large storage requires three ceramics. Right there. And then... Might want something for the windmills as well. gonna need two of these I think how many windmills do I have wind turbines three 
seven seven of them so we're gonna make two I think it might be time to pay that auto extractor a visit again but this time to actually pick stuff up for realsies make a uh, another large platform I'm using the wrong printer here hold up change these up over here There you go. Just two of those will do the trick. That means I won't be needing two of these resins. Let's put them back. So, we got one, two, three large platforms that are going to get made. And I'll need three large storages for that. So, let's get some more ceramics. happening I'm gonna load the batteries into this medium storage here did I bring this I don't think I need those let's leave them there for now oh uh, I do have some free slots I'll, I'll bring them back to Silva if I don't need them over there let's mount this up I might need a couple of those large storages, so... After they're done printing, I'm gonna unbox them and mount them on the rocket. Large storage, here we go. We're making three of those. these close to the ship while I'm at it I'll organize them in a bit put this back in the ship you know it feels really odd to have just one open slot it gives me <laughs> it gives me a little OCDs now I need to make a, a medium wind turbine let's make one aluminum I have all the time to spare while these things print. So I might as well. There you go. Now doesn't that look beautiful? Look at it. Look at that. Look at it. What a perfect little cube. Okay, there's the first large storage. Let's start mounting stuff. We'll be needing these. Let's get this out of here. You know, I wonder what happens. Nah, that's not going to work. I was going to say, what happens if I put the winch here, attach the winch to something, and then take off? <laughs> that would be a... I think that would be a worthy experiment, man. But not now. I don't want to make a mess of my base. If that thing fucks up, 
put this up here. <laughs> Imagine I attach it to the ground and I pull the entire planet with me. <laughs> I drag the planet to the to the moon, and everything explodes. Okay, everything's done printing. Let's put this over here. And also count everything. Let's see. We got the three platforms. Got all the little storage shenanigans with the batteries and whatnot. And let's unpack this one right here. I need it. I'm missing one. I'm missing one large storage. Where is it? Oh, right. I haven't printed. I'm missing one ceramic on the printer. Put that there. Pew. There you go. What do you think? Is that winch trick gonna be a worthy experiment? <laughs> Next time we play, we're gonna we're gonna try that on the moon we're playing in. And we're not gonna tell anybody, we're just gonna try it. And if something happens, everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Pretty sure I have nothing else to do right now. Just mount this up and I think we're good to go. Let's see. So we got three platforms, three storages that are already, two of them are already opened. And batteries, windmills are in the other side. I want to put them on site because I have ADHD. I need to see things in front of me so that I know they're there and I don't forget about them. There you go. Two free slots plus the one in the back. Do I have a platform for this thing? For the batteries? I don't think I do. No, wait, I do. I, I made... Oh, I have everything I need. Let's go. Oh, and check the fuel. We got six launches left, right? 25%. And let me refill real quick. Put that on the thruster there. All fueled up. Ready for the trip. Let's go. Just to double check, we have to go to Vizania, right? Because we're looking for Argon. Is there any other planet that has Argon? Oh, Glacio. Wait a second. Oh, Glacio. Dude, Glacio. That's where my. That's where the base is. And also, I think it's the highest concentration of Argon. So let's go there. Here we go. I don't remember what my base looks like in Glacio. I think it was very small and uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, in the future, I have to upgrade that base so that I can take on the train station missions. There we go. Slow down, land on the pad. Glacio home base, baby. Welcome to my base. I need lighting. This planet is very dark. That's why the sun, the sun level is really low on the planet info. See, it's low sun, high wind. So we depend on wind power here. All right, this is a very inconvenient base. Where's my? Oh no, I left my work light.
What is this? Let's call it over. Just because I can. So, I need this atmospheric condenser. Let's put it right here. Exchange, exchange it for the soul centrifuge. I don't have any lights here. No. I'm gonna put the bat the power system right behind this large windmill, large wind turbine. So start unpacking. Put this aside and unpack the first platform. Boom. Take the batteries. No, wait a second. I need the other ceramic platform. Damn it, I need the other large storage. I keep calling them ceramic platforms. Just because they're made of ceramic. <laughs> Lock this in. Put some batteries on there. One. Two. Three. Four. And those are about to start charging. As soon as the wind starts hitting. Uh, while that happens... Put some more windmills on here. Put one here. And one here. I gotta go get the medium wind turbines because they're not here. Oh. Trying to grab this thing. Here we go. I'm gonna put this back on the ship because right now I don't need it. Right there. Take this. Unpack all the windmills, wind turbines. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. And a one, and a two. Oh, missed one. And a three. And a four. Not gonna lie, it's really satisfying to hear the wind turbines working. Alright, this base has gotten a little love for a long time. Nice little upgrade. Also, that I can power this atmospheric condenser. For which I need one of the gas canisters. Did I bring it? Oh no. I think I forgot the gas canister. Oh, I have one packed. <laughs> oh, thank god. A hundred parts per... per whatever. That's a lot. Okay. Let's go. Let's see how the power system does. Each battery produces five units per second, so four batteries will power the atmospheric condenser until they run out. After that, it's whatever else, whatever else is available, which would be this medium battery and these four small batteries on the side. So it's not a lot of power, at least until the wind starts blowing. How much production do we have? 10 units plus 20 plus 20, that's 40, 50. We have 50 units of power. 53, 58. It looks like I have. 58 units of power production. So, whenever the wind starts blowing, it's gonna charge the batteries and power the atmospheric condenser. We're good here. We're set. 
That's what I need right now. See, it's emptying, but as soon as the wind starts blowing, it starts charging up. Oh god, that's so satisfying. Is there anything I can do on the planet while this canister fills up? I don't have a QTRTG. Oh, I do. On this rover. Let's see if I can find some stuff inside or outside. You know what? Let's explore outside. Why not? Let's see what I can find while that atmospheric condenser fills up. Glacio is such a cool planet, man. I think whenever I get the chance, I might actually find a better spot to build my base. Because that, that one right there is just kind of cramped for me inside that crater. I don't really like it. I'd rather, I'd rather build on top of a cliff or something. At least for this planet. I can take advantage of the fact that I have a drill on this rover, but I can pave paths. Let's do that. I can tell that I've been through here already. Oh! Oh shit. Not enough power. Oh, here's a research thing. Let's take that. See how many research objects we can find. Oh wait, I see a I see a shipwreck over there. Let's go check it out. Down rover. Uh, this plant is hostile. Let's take it out. So to get to that shipwreck, I'm going to have to climb up this mountain. It's a good thing I got a drill. Let's do it. Oh, Maria. Ran out of power right on time. Ooh, exo request. Exo catch. That's not the button I wanted to press. Let's grab a TNT. Dynamite, blow that sucker up. Make sure not to blow up the rover while I'm at it. <laughs> it's such a satisfying explosion too. Hey, there's a wind turbine in here. That's a good find. That's some titanite. That's, that's okay, I guess. Graphite. Compound. Anything else? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. This needs to be carried back in the train system whenever I activate that mission. I haven't done it. Let's put this back on the rover. Put this over here. And here's one research thing. Let's take it. And there's another one. Grab it. And another research anywhere else. Oh, I think I see one. That'll be the last one, because I don't have any other medium slots available. I do have packagers, though. I could package these resource research items. 
Not that I need them, because I have a lot of bites on me. But, eh, I don't know, it's kind of satisfying to scan stuff. There you go. Put that there, and then grab another one. There's another one. God, there's so many of those. We're gonna bring these back to Silva and scan them over there. While while they scan over here, we're gonna scan some in Silva as well. That's what I mean. Look at all this. So many research points. Oh, I have two more packagers. I can package anything else that I find. This is a sketchy looking cliff. Yeah, but we're gonna head back to the base. What am I stuck with? <laughs> Alright, which way is back? That way. Alright guys, we're gonna jump for it. We're gonna jump for it, here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Blows up. Hey, Dovo, welcome back! Oh, an exo catch! Get that shit. Blow this sucker up. Two, three, four, and five debris. Let's get these. And leave, right? There's no more. Yeah, there's no more. I could pack a couple of these resins, though. Let's 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 uh, let's uh, let's uh, grab this medium storage. Mhm. Mm just have a little extra supply of resin for the base, right here in Glacio. There's another research. Package is so corrupt. And there's another one. I saw one off in the distance. That way. There it is. I can reach. I can reach. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pack this one too. There you go. We're going. Back to the base. No more wasting time. The atmospheric condenture. Condenture. Should have already collected enough argon for us to go back to Silva. So let's take the gas canister and leave. Because gas collecting was not part of the <laughs> part of the mission until now that we needed argon, but we've collected more than enough. Look, we, there's 60 units of argon in here. We only needed one. Go ahead and put this here so that it fills up with argon while I'm gone. You know, the great thing about this is that machines keep working on planets even after you leave the planet. So, it's a nice thing for multitasking. For example, I'm going to put this here. And have a couple of things to 
research. I'll leave a couple of things researching. And I'm going to leave the gas collecting. And while I'm on silver, everything is supposed to keep working. So, let's do that. Let's leave this scrap. What was that on the floor? I don't know. What is this? Alignment mod? Meter storage? God, I left a mess last time I worked here. Remind me to bring lights. It's so dark in this planet. Next time I come back, I gotta bring lights. Oh no, I almost left without a gas. Right? Where's the gas? Right here. Whew. That was a close one. The gas and all the research items that I collected. Let's put that there and put this here. And... Here's another research. Put this over here. Is there a free slot anywhere? There you go. Okay, let's make sure that I don't leave anything important. A couple of these research items, and we're good to go. It says here that it's finished. Oh, I'm gonna get a QTRTG. Let's get one. Give me that. I'm gonna leave it here though. I might need it when I come back. Launch to another planet, let's go. Onwards to Silva, and what was it that I was going to do with uh, all this argon? Steel. We were going to make steel because we needed to make something else. What was it? I'll check when I get back to the base. All right, the shredder. I needed to make a shredder. All right. Hey, why isn't this making? Oh God damn it! <laughs> I always do that. I forget to put the the input on the resource canisters, and then the machines stop working just because I forgot to turn that on. Okay. I think the rover is almost ready for this trip to make the train station down to the core of the planet. What else do we have? Let's make the steel with the argon that I brought from Glacio. Let's put that next to the chemistry lab and take these research items to the research chamber over here. How much are these rocks worth anyways? Oh my god. Forgot how much they were worth. They're worth a lot. 16k? 1600 I mean. Alright, let's get one of these. Right there. And make some steel. Steel requires iron and carbon. Iron and carbon. Make one steel and then one tungsten carbide, right? Tungsten with carbon. Let's take this. Uh, I'm full. Hold up. Here we go. Something carbide. The exo chips and oh look, I got more research items. Put this over there.
Okay, I have all the ingredients for the extra large shredder. Let's uh print it up. That's gonna take another minute. It's uh, on the top over here. Where is it? Extra large shredder. What's the steel? Did I pick it up? No, I didn't. No, I did. Bring lights. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that reminder. I'm gonna print some lights, thanks to you. I'm gonna bring a couple of storages with copper. Because work lights require copper. put these here for the meantime I don't think I have a slot for the shredder hmm I might have to make two trips anyways all right let's unpack this train station how's oh, it gonna look so cool Put this right here. Make sure to leave some space for the rover to drive through. Probably going to look better against this rock right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stick it over here. Flatten this up. Ah, oh, shit. I broke the tethering system again. Boom! Got a train station. Let's uh, you know, I could maybe commence the train, the rail system, and then bring the rover down. That might be a better idea, actually. This needs to go on the rover. I'm just gonna put it next to it. Why is that glitched into the ground, bro? Hold on. What's going on here? It's stuck! No, don't drag it! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, this is bad. I need to rescue this fucking thing. <laughs> oh no! Why is it stuck in the ground? I hate when this happens. Maybe it's too heavy. This is like sinking into the ground. <laughs> Come on. You can't be stuck like that, man. Come on. Come on. Get out of that hole. You got yourself in. Now you get yourself out. There you go. Whew. That was a close one. Look at that fucking crater I had to make. Just to save the, the trailer. That's the wrong mode. That was quite the scare there. I <laughs> almost lost the whole last trailer with everything I, I worked making. This doesn't go here. Let me put it. Let me put it right there. So this is a good start for the trailers for the uh, rail system. I just need to start I just need to start laying out some rails. So I'm gonna start doing that right now. Rail post bundle. Or, you know what? I should really expand the cave on the way down. So I'm gonna start working on that. Because... Right? Let's say I put down the rail posts all the way down. It wouldn't feel right if I just drive right through them so i'm gonna make the cave a little wider and taller so that it's really comfortable to drive through it i should start by picking up these uh tethers i 
I'm not gonna have any oxygen while I do that. So let's bring some uh, Let's see this portable oxygenator and two QTRTGs Bring those things All right I might want to bring down the no 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 leave the rail posts. I'll be back. I do want <laughs> oh man I do so many trips all right I do want some extra fuel for my jetpack I'm gonna run out eventually I'm low on fuel you can see it right here get these tethers out of here Mm hmm I'm not gonna run out of oxygen because this thing's cranking oxygen 24-7 What the fuck did I do? All right Oh, did I just plug the system in? Oh, that's so cool Let's see Oh, dude, that's so cool. If I stand between these two, they'll link the oxygen. Or no, I guess it's just a bug. Never mind. Let's pick those up. Okay. So I'm gonna make the tunnel wider and taller. That means I need the crane. I'm gonna un... I'm gonna unhook the trailers because I'm gonna focus on that. And the trailers are just gonna make everything uncomfortable and slow me down. So I'm gonna take the the only car that I need is this one. Just gonna take this cable plug out. Boom. And boom. I'm gonna have to remove some of these plants, unfortunately. Let's power the rover instead, because I'm gonna use the crane with the with the fifth thingamajig here. Boom. And boom. I don't need these malachites. Ah, sorry, plants. Oh no, they're gone forever. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill them like that. <laughs> okay. All right, that makes a slightly more comfortable entrance. Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. I gotta put the freaking drill on the front. Change this back. It's gonna take a while, but... We've already started. Unless, unless I don't have to do that. If I just dig down like this. Rather than carve out the ceiling, I'm gonna carve out the floor with the paver and, and drill. It's gonna be a lot faster. No, it'd be great if this thing started digging down. There you go. All right, that's what we're talking about. Okay. 
Okay, and where is... Where does the cave go? That way, okay. Continue onwards. Oh, <laughs> I should have picked up these tethers. We're fine, we're fine. I'll pick them up back up on the on the trip down while putting down the rail posts. At least they guide me down. I can tell where where I'm going. Oh yeah, this is working really well right now. This was a really good idea. Just make sure to carve underneath that layer. A little lower. Yeah, this is working out so well. And then once I get down to the bottom, we're gonna carve out the space for a... Uh, Another train station. Oh, you know? I didn't tell you, but... Or maybe I did say it last stream, but for the ones that haven't seen it yet, there is a little base I left right behind the rover, down that way, where I'm looking. In fact, I can show you if I just carve out this wall right here. Uh, or if I just walk over. See? Over there I have a, an extra base that I used to use. Whenever I wanted to mass produce laterite and uh, whatever else I had to cook down here, phalerite, I would do it right there in that little cave. Okay, so is it straight or do I have to go to the side? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to go to the side now. So I'm gonna level this. And then I'm gonna start digging a little left from right here. Right there. I might have to fix that little spot right there. <laughs> it's gonna give me OCD. It's gonna trigger my OCD. So I guess it's a really good thing that I, I didn't pick up the tethers before I started digging because they show me the way to where I want to start digging, carving out a, a space for the rail station. So that's going to turn out to be really useful. I think we're almost there. Oh no, the tethers are rolling down! I don't want to lose them! <laughs> no! We lost one! Oh no! There goes a second! No! The tethers! Oh god, wait. We got, we got a, an obstruction. Shoot. Give me one second. Uh-huh. Go up, and then down. And I'm pretty sure it's not that way. Stop digging for a second. 
I think I have to go left. So let's go ahead and turn this thing around a little bit. Where's the cave? Where did I leave the cave? Okay, here it is. Alright, so I go a little left and up. And then just stay on course. There you go. Yeah, that's working out pretty well. Go down a little lower. I might carve out some malachite on the way. Look at all that look at all that malachite I haven't picked up. Man, that is a tall cave I'm making here. With an added railing on the left. <laughs> Did I make it? No, no. No, no, I gotta keep going. Just follow the tunnel. Keep following the tunnel. The tethers are gone. That's why I got confused all of a sudden. I guess past this point, I just went no tether. There are a couple of kinks I have I have to fix on the way back up, so we don't do that when we're done doing this. Is that the base there? Oh yeah, I think we're here. Nice, we made it. We level this. And now we can start carving out the mountain. The mountain, the cave walls and ceiling. Let's do it. Uh, forgot to put the drill back on. Change this with this, and there you go. Dig this shit. Man, I need more light here. It's too bad the drill doesn't have a work light or the ability to attach one. We're just gonna take this out. Okay, because the only reason I need this crane is down here, I'm just gonna leave it. So that I have space for other stuff. God, this is exactly why I'm building the rail station. <laughs> it's so hard to drive down here with low gravity. Alright, so the path down is carved out. We just gotta round up a few kinks and... Uh, what else? On the way down, while we're placing the rail posts, we're gonna we're gonna pick up these tethers that are rolling everywhere. We lost a few on the way down with the drill, but that's fine. And they're super cheap. Oh look, 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 look! I might be able to fix this right now. This ugly little kink right here. There you go. And this ceiling right here is also kind of annoying. Let me let me get that out of the way. I want to improve visibility as much as I can. Mm-hmm. 
Just a little more. Let me check that. I'll take a look. I think that's pretty good. Let's uh keep driving up. So that we can get the rail post bundles. This can be rounded up a little bit. Oh no 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 no. No no no, I'm not gonna do that because there's some uh research aids in the way. What I'm gonna do instead is make an alternate path right here. Should I? Oh, there's a little there's a little voxel here. Let's get that out of the way. Alright. It's fine, let's just go. I think that what's bothering me is how flat it is. So maybe if I round it up a little higher. Nah, let's go. I'm not gonna listen to my OCD this time. It feels so good to be able to scroll farther out. That's how it's done, boy. Oh. Okay, here's the other kink that I wanted to fix. Gotta round this one out. So let's uh, turn on the drill. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There you go. Is that ammonium? The fuck is that? Oh, you stupid Malachi, get out of my way! Hold on one second. I can pick these up while I'm here. Alright. Back to work! this up a little bit right there let's just aim it up uh-huh and then this one needs to be rounded up like this there you go I think that's it oh no this is too ugly my rover has to take a bump like that, then it's no bueno. We gotta fix that. There you go. That's, that's a lot better. Good enough. Let's go get the train station. Let's go get this train station powered up. Let's do it. This right here is a little uncomfortable, isn't it? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It looks so t different without the tethers. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get lost without them. That's gonna get fixed with the uh, rail post bundles, though. So let's leave the rover. I'm gonna need the oxygen. Let's take these QTRTGs to power this uh, portable oxygenator. And we're gonna start setting up the post bundles. Let me get the post bundles. 
this one. And we'll bring the rail junction. One rail junction should do the trick. You know, the tractor might actually come in handy this time because I don't want something huge. Uh, work through this. Nah, let's just go on foot. Put one. Oh, that's so cool. Let's put this uh, oxygenator. That's not what I wanted to do. Oxygenator, let's put it down here and put the rail post bundle on the backpack quick slot. Now I just have to press V and it's going to drop down the post bundle. Look at how cool it looks when, when you uh, place down the rail post. It goes join and links it up like that. Let's put another one. How far does it go? Pretty far. No! I didn't want to slide. Oh. Come on. There you go. I'm going to put it off to the side so the rover can drive a little more comfortably not that it needs to because I, I don't think this thing has collision and if anything i'll just make the tunnel wider okay i've already got a couple of uh oh shit 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 turn on damn it Oh god. Oh no. Why isn't it powering? Come on. I'm suffocating. Turn on. Oh, I had to hold F. <laughs> oh god, I almost died because of my panic. I, was, I had to hold F to turn on the oxygenator. And I was only clicking it once. Anyways, let's pick up this, these tethers on the way down. Alright, Dova. Uh, have fun with your errands. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna do. I'll see you later. We're gonna keep picking up tethers here. We have... Rail junction. I don't need rail junctions. I need the actual rail oh you know what you know what i don't i don't think i actually need the other thing put this on the side i don't need that i don't need that so let's say i build the car the train power it and i can just start bringing the rail posts and stuff down with the train itself that's gonna save me a lot of time Let's change this real quick. Give me one second. Put it in the quick slot. Alright, here we go. How far does it go? No, 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 no! It's gonna roll down. A little to the side. There you go. I believe we're gonna go this way now. So let's put this... Maybe this is a good spot for a real junction. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, let's put a real junction down. Is this a spot that I have to go down? 
Oh no, it's not this one. My bad. Let's pick this back up. And put the last rail post on here. Alright. Let's go back up, prep that train, and we'll, uh... Excuse me. <laughs> oh, we're also gonna need a lot of lights for this thing. Oh no, I have one more. I have one more! Why did I think I was out? Geronimo! Sliding down is so fun. Alright. Oh, look, some tethers I can pick up. Get them. Okay, let's go get some more rail post bundles and prep the train. this up I have three tethers let's put them down for a bit there you go all bundled up uh, I might want to start producing some work lights as well so that I can light up the train system Where did I put my extenders? Here they are. Let's get one. I just need one. So we have this zone base right here. Put them here. And plug in the train station. Oh, get in there. Come. There you go. Okay, train is powered. Oxygen is flowing down through the rail system. So we're going to have a lot of stuff down there to do. God, this is going to increase productivity so much. Let's start prepping the train. I don't think I'm going to need the rover after all. I'm going to do a back and forth on this. Get some of these and some of these. Why don't I just bring the whole thing? Can I just back it up into the, to the thing? No. How do I plug these together? Oh, they just connect if you put them like that. But they can't connect to the front. It's only to the side. Sorry, to the back. Whoa. Camera goes crazy sometimes. All right. One more. It's over here. Oh, there's two more. Let's put it closer. Within uh, distance of this little grabby thing. No, no, that's not what I want. Let's put this here. Let's 
Yeah, this is gonna need a little more space. This, we now have one, two, three, four, five large slots. Okay, five large. That's the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five and a half rovers, I think. So we're gonna start bringing stuff down. Let's uh put these on the train. I might actually wanna. Load it up using the rover itself, because there's a lot of things to carry. Whoa! Camera be crazy sometimes. I don't need the oxygenator right now, so let's turn it off. Put these QTRTGs back here, and also the oxygenator. Let's exchange it over here. Mm-hmm. Drop these Malachites. Do I have a medium plat medium storage around here? Let's get one. I don't want to be dropping stuff randomly. And then make it really hard for it to get picked up. So let's organize these into the medium storage and put them in the furnace while I'm at it. I do need a lot of copper, so that's more than fine. There you go. I also left some copper at the entrance of the cave. Let's take that. Where's the furnace? It's over there. Let's pick up the copper first. Burn us! Burn us! Yippee. We're good, let's go. Let's put this... I think we might need this on the rover, so let's leave it nearby. Right there. Let's put it on this thing. That looks nice. That looks real nice. Let's go. Put this in a comfortable position to load up the train. Might be as simple as putting these on a train like so. Oh, whoa, whoa, holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. The whole train looks up, so it picks the items up from anywhere on the train. Oh, that's great, dude. That's good to know. Let's put this here. I'm missing one medium platform on this storage. So that my OCD don't act up. Do I have a spare anywhere? Here, let's just empty this out. I'll take this one. What's this? Oh, it's the the large shredder thing. I need to bring that. And this large printer. I also need this, so let's bring it, bring it along. All right, here we go. Right now, I don't think I'm gonna need this particular large storage, so let's let's leave it on the rover, and we'll bring this large platform for the shredder. Later on, we're gonna bring. Wait a second. 
Oh, right, because I made another large shredder. Let's uh, take this back to where it belongs. <laughs> so, it, for those that weren't there uh, earlier in the live stream, I had packaged up this shredder before I decided to actually make another one. And because I didn't have enough materials for it, like I needed argon gas, I had to go to this glacial to collect the gas. So I kind of deviated from the mission, went to Glacio <laughs> after having packed up the large shredder that I that I had. I was like, nah, I'm gonna make another one. And I proceeded to deviate from the task. This is not what I need. But I do need I'm gonna bring this along. Mm-hmm. There you go. Some lights on the train would be nice. I'm pretty sure that the small printer can't make work lights. I don't check anyways. Yeah. Oh, oh, it can. Okay. All right. Then let's put this. That's gonna make it so fast. Come here. Let's make a ton of these. Nice. All right. Oh, this is gonna be a pain once I plug it into the into the train. Oh no, I forgot the storage! <laughs> Damn it. Hold up. I made a I made a very big mistake here. Now I have to clean this up one by one. Alright, let's carry these back to the uh, rover here. Might have to organize this a little bit. I'll only bring one for now. So let's take this. Oh my god! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I can't see! I can't see! Let's go. I'm also going to save one for the train itself. You know, it would be cool if these things had one slot. So that I can put the work lights on there. There's one. There's two. Let's get another one. Oh, you know what? Tell you what. Tell you what. Let me empty the backpack. And I'll just bring these on my backpack. Because you can walk up to any rail post bundle and call the nearest car. So I won't have to walk back up to the train. I can just call it down. Dude, that's what I mean. This thing is so freaking useful. We're gonna 
put a couple of these in there and see how it's looking. Because this should be looking really nice now. With the work lights connected. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good, bro. Alright, let's call the car. Oh, look, it has a little timer, too, to tell you how long it takes to get to the rail post. Alright, reverse this thing. Look at how fast this thing goes, dude. Okay. That's really good, man. Oh, let me do a little stretch here. What's next? My brain took a little break there. Okay, guys, give me a couple of minutes. I got a phone call. I might keep playing while I talk on the phone. Okay, we're back. I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to have to interrupt the the stream by cutting it off. But yeah, look at how it's looking. It's looking so good, dude. Let's keep lighting this, this up. We need to keep producing more work lights. So I made one batch. We're gonna need another batch. Let me 
take this off, put it here, and get the other batch of work lights. Probably gonna need a couple more batches because it's it's a long way down to the center. Hopefully, I have enough time to finish building the entire train station. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. And if not, then we can do the burritos another day. If you're up for that, you know. But so far, train station has been really fun. Uh, and I hope you've been enjoying it, if you watch this far. Hold on a second, I forgot to put on the chat. Trying to, trying to catch up to the chat. Give me a second. Okay, I think I caught up. Uh, let's start putting uh, those warp lights down. I don't have to be on the train to do that. I can just uh, pack my backpack like so. I'm gonna look like a giant Nova. <laughs> worth it oh this is as far as I got uh, let's bring the train out a little closer and rail post bundles put one of these on my backpack and start putting tra uh, rails I might have to carve out the ceiling a little bit here. It's getting a little cramped. Let's do that. Let's get some uh, rail post bundles. Boom! Let's collect these tethers while I'm at it. I need some space on my backpack. Here we go. No! <laughs> Damn it! I always do something and fuck it up. Let's put it at that angle. Perfect. Do I have collision with this thing? Yes, I do. That means the rover might have collision on this thing. Mm-hmm. Turn this on. Light this bitch up. There you go. You know, at first I was thinking of uh, making. Hold up, hold up one second. Making a long extension cord all the way down to provide lighting down here, but. I think this turns out to be a lot better because it serves as both as three things and transportation oxygen and electricity and that's way better than those those little things the extension cords at least for this uh, scenario 
All we need is a train station. Oh, damn it. I don't have space for these. Oh, well, of course I don't. I haven't been putting the lights on. Let's drop some lights in there. space for the tethers what was that huh, interesting I think uh Yeah, I think the train rail posts will carve out the ground. Yeah, it does. Look, it does it does do that? That's pretty sick. Still, I made my own, my own hole because I want it to be really tall. Oh, I'm out of rail posts. Call the train. And put a couple of lights. Here it is. That's all the lights I have. I should go make some more. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. Before you keep going. I'll clear this up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Looks good, right? Let's keep going. Here's another... Here's another space that I can fix. I think it's gonna be like this all the way up. But I think it's worth fixing. Oh no! Let's just uh, do this real quick. And this one. Good enough. Let's keep going. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we're here. So let's start producing some more copper lights. Work lights. Am I out of copper? Oh, no. What was here? Was that the copper? I have two coppers left. Damn. Yeah, I think I might have to get some more copper for this thing. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's just focus on putting down the rail post. I'll, I'll light it up another time. We got a priority here. So I'm going to put the work light on the back of my backpack and rail post bundles on the other side. Let's go. Look at how nice it looks, man. I love it. Hmm. 
It seems like it's just a tad slower than the rover, but it's linear. It's going to be faster no matter what. Especially since uphill, it doesn't really change speed. The gravity is not going to affect it. That's the other thing. Once this entire thing's connected, we're going to have no issues with gravity down there. So we can make an entire railway system in the core of this planet. Open this up a little bit. I want it to be really high. Hey, there's a oh, there's already a light here. Where is it? There it is. Take this with me. Take this. I'll uh, I'll use it right here on this one. Mhm. Mm and pick up some tethers. I think this is where I wanted to make the... the rail post junction. But, let's see. Did I do it here? I think I will do it here. Alright, forgive me for a second. Let me pick this up. And set down a rail post junction. I need to pick it up from the train though. Let's call it over. Hold up, I gotta let the cat out. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that. All right, let's go. Rail post junction. I just need one. Rail post junction. Where are they? On the, on the other side of the train? Did I leave them? Oh, no. I think I... Uh, oh, that's fine. Look, uh, I'll just make a... Just make one train. One rail post right there. Right about where I was going to make the junction. So, we turn that around here. Oh, that's too much of an angle for it. Is it? Is that it? Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. That's fine. I'll fix it later. Let's focus on getting down to the core. And you know what? I'm kind of feeling like... Uh, this right here should be a loop-de-loop. -loop. This that's gonna be fun <laughs> on the way down. If I just do this, watch, watch, watch. Here's what I mean. I'm gonna put this one here. And I'm gonna put this one on the wall. Put it right. Right about here. Angle it that way. And pick up some tethers on the way down. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. Oh. oh that looks kind of cool. I wanted it to be a spiral, but... Okay, okay. Maybe I can make the spiral work. Let's try again. I'm out of rail posts. Let's get another one. It dug into the ground. Okay. Maybe if I keep them a little closer like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so now it's upside down. I 
I think it's working. Let's try that again. I'm gonna call it over. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, I got myself a little roller coaster here. The most productive roller coaster you've ever seen. Carrying hundreds of burritos on it. Maybe I should make that a goal. Now that I'm gonna have this system going on, I should try to collect a hundred. Let's say a hundred ish burritos. I think the goal for the breakdown event might need me to make over 100 burritos so let's say 10 oh yeah i think it is 100 burritos so i'm gonna make it a goal to make 100 burritos inside the cave I mean, why, what else am I going to do? Look at all this work I'm going through. <laughs> I might as well do something cool with it, right? Oh, I need Malachi. Let me pick this up. I'm going to need to train for this one. Put that on the storage. Get in there. I'm just gonna fill one for now. Later, I'm gonna bring the crane down here to pick up some more malachite. Mm -hmm. Is that full? No, I can fit one more. Just fit one more right here. Get this. Grab that. One more. Come on. Come on. One more. There you go. And put this back on the on the rail. Rail car. Let's go. Let's keep putting in these rail posts. I'm gonna do another loop de loop here. No, I didn't wanna dig into the ground. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Ah, whatever. Not like I'm gonna drive the rover here that often. I'll fix it if I do come back with the rover. Uh huh. I'm out of rail post. Let's get another one. No, I should probably fix it because it's gonna look ugly when I pass with the rail car. Give me one second. Just gotta move this a little higher. Oh no! Give me that! I need that! Mm hmm. Okay. That's good enough. Here's another one of these. Uh, let's get some more bu rail post bundles. I think I've used like four packs already. Four packs of real post bundles. It's quite a bit. Hmm. I think I want to clean this up a little. Do that. Get this little voxel here. I think it's looking pretty good, right? It's gonna look even better when I make a, a ton of light uh, work lights. Make a little loop de loop. And your shoes are looking good. Oh, I don't like that turn here. That's better. Is it doing the loop de loop? We went up that way, up this way, and then 
Oh no. No, 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 that's not it. Put it like this. I think that's how it's supposed to go. I was mixing it up, mixing it up too much. Okay. We're almost done, I think. Couple of layers to go, and we're gonna start picking up burritos. Hopefully. I've got errands to run, so if I don't finish this in an hour, then I might just have to leave if I don't make a couple of burritos. Oh, that's looking so cool, man. Did I miss any tethers? I did. Let's get that. Let's call the train over because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to collect some materials here. How's that looking? Mm-hmm. Go down this way. Oh man, this is taking uh, such a long time just for one task. All I want to do is gather burritos, but I have I've had to travel planets, dig caves, and do a bunch of stuff just so that I can make an efficient burrito system. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. It's going to be way better than traveling back and forth with a rover. Alright, time to call the train because I'm out of rail post bundles. I gotta make some space on my backpack. I love that this thing tells you the time it's going to take for the train to get here. Here he comes. Mm. I should put some lights on the train too. So, looking at this thing, I can tell you, all right, this was filled to the brim with rail post bundles. Like there were eight rail post bundles. I've used five already, taking the, this train to the core. Let's put that there, come on. Gather some Malachite, make some space on my backpack instead. Do I have space on this thing? Should be enough, let's put the tethers on there. Yeah, my backpack is full of tethers, not because I was making tethers, it's because I was picking the ones up uh, that I made a long time ago when I dug to the core. Because the new oxygen supply is going to come from the uh, rail posts. So I won't be needing these tethers, they're just going to take some visual space and look kind of ugly. And the rail post is going to look really fucking sick. I'm gonna love that. Let's get some copper. Pick these up. And these and these. And let's put a rail post. Oh, the green layer. I'm almost there. Can I do another loop de loop here? I think I could actually. If I stick this on the wall. Mm hmm. And from the wall. I'm gonna need the jetpack here. From the wall, I go this way. Right? Stick it on right there. And then. Pick one right here. This way. Let's go that way.
No, no, no. I'm gonna have to fix the little tearing here. That's good. All right, let's get to the rail post. I'm almost there. Oh. All the trains so I can store this malachite. Gonna need a lot of malachite for the copper lights. Wait, I can make copper lights on my backpack. What am I talking about? That'll save me a lot of space. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have a furnace, though. If I had the portable furnace, I could just do that, you know? Hold up, I can't reach the storage now. I can't say! Okay. Maybe if I just flip this around. Got the storage. That's better. You know what? Even better, I can just put this down here and now fill it up with the malachites. <laughs> I'm such a big brain. Any other Malachites? No? Alright, let's go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost to the burrito system. Or the location where it's gonna be. Let's do another loop de loop I want this to feel like a roller coaster. Since there's not gonna be anything to do with for the whole trip down. <laughs> Still gonna be way faster than the rover, I think. No. Huh, 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 huh. There you go. I'm out of shit. <laughs> I'm out of real posts. It's called the train. That looks so cool, man. I think I might actually use all the rail posts on this. I had and I had eight packs of rail posts. Each one has ten rail posts. So that means I've I'm almost close to using eighty rail posts. Hold on, I need to fix this one. It's too close to the other one. Pick it up. Right there. Oh, I can see the base. Or the soon to be base. Yeah, we're here, guys. Holy shit, we made it. Now we just gotta bring everything down here. Starting with the shredder and all the stuff that's on the train. Let's start unpacking. Put one more for good measure. Right there. Mm-hmm. All right, start with the extra large platform for the shredder. Boom, check that out. That's yeah, <laughs> a little slanted. Let me fix the tearing. I should have a, yeah. Soul canister. Right there. It's nice to have vehicles with you. Ah! It's nice to have vehicles with you all the time. They're basically mules, you know? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna lock you to the ground. Are you slanted? I don't want you to be slanted. Way too slanted. Hold up. I want it to be really flat. And this is not good. At all. Let's uh, make it flat. I think that's flatter. Yeah, I think that's way better. I'm 
I'm gonna set up the shredder here, but it's not gonna be a permanent setup. Because I also need to designate the train station. And I don't want the train station to just, to just be anywhere, because it can be in the way if I just set it up anywhere. It needs to be, uh... It needs to, it needs to look nice, you know? And not be in the way. Here's the extra large shredder. We're gonna be doing a lot of shredding here. Put this against the wall. Lock it so that gravity doesn't take it away. Put this on the train. I'm gonna need that. Organic? I don't think I'm gonna need organic here, so let's leave it on the train. And... I'm gonna leave these down here. I don't need this up there. What about this? Anything from here that I need? Let's use the rail post bundles over here. Let's leave them here. And this one. Let's take it off the backpack. Put the tethers on. You know what? Leave the tethers down here. Got a couple more packs here. Let's take those. You know what? I can just leave this entire thing here. Eh, I'll take it with me. Alright, I think that's it for this uh, unpacking. Let's go back up. Make the rail station. Bring down printers. And let's see what else is on the list. Oh, we're going to need lots of resin for the platforms. Work lights. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Work lights. I'm done with the rail engine. I'm done with the rail car. Gotta bring platforms and printers. I'm done with the rail post and junctions for now. And with the shredder. All I have to do is bring work lights. Bring printers. And the rail station. There we go. Let's go. We're going back up, guys. Boom. Yeah, this place is really dark. We gotta light it up. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot I did the the little loopy loops. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa! Here we go again. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, dude, look at that. That's such a view. I have to clear up these, uh, these little walls. And stalactites and stuff like that, because they're ruining the view. Oh, that, that curb is too tight. I have to fix that one. Got one more loot. -loop. Here we go. Woo! Hell yeah! Oh, another one! Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to include a portable furnace on this thing. Definitely. home this is so much faster than the rover man oh oh oh, oh. wait a second i can now pick this up Let's take it back to base
and throw it in the extra large shredder that I, that I have. It's a good thing I have an extra, after all. That trip to Glacia was actually worth the trip. And this... Uh, you know what? I just want to get rid of it. It's, uh, nah, don't be like that. Being lazy. Let's put this with the demonstration from earlier. Right here. The winch could be useful down there, but I'm not going to bring it yet. I'll consider it if I have to. I don't need anything from here, do I? Maybe generators? No, no, because the real posts already provide electricity. Large resource canisters. Oh, that's, a, that's this is actually a good reminder. I need a resource canister for copper. I think I have a lot of spares, so let's bring one. Here we go. Put it on the rover. Sorry, the train. And pick up all those coppers. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's take this over. I remember I had a portable furnace somewhere. I have to go find it. I don't want to have to do this every time I'm uh, I'm collecting copper. And I'm going to need a lot of copper. Like, there's 80, almost 80 rail posts. Let's say almost 70, because I didn't use the last bundle. That means I'm going to need almost 70 work lights. I've already put down 16... Somewhere around 16 lights. So I'm gonna need, let's say, 60 more? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, something like Minecraft Steve there for a second. That was a good stretch. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. Let's bring the copper canister. Change it real quick. Mm -hmm. Put the input there. The out Sorry, the output there and the input here. I like things to face right. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna keep working on the base down there. No, no, no. Okay, you know what? I know there's a portable furnace somewhere. Let's check Silva real quick. Our storage system. I don't see... I don't see the portable furnace here. I must have left it on the Zolo or something. Definitely the Zolo because this is the last planet I was working on. But just to be sure, let me check all the storages. I might have misplaced it. I'm good at that. bring this resin over to the proper storage too. I don't like having I don't like having things lying around. This is supposed to be graphite. I think I have some graphite ready here. This day? Oh it's good enough. Put it over here. Uh, it was this one. Okay. Hold up, this is an angle, right? There you go. Uh, this actually belongs to the furnace. Yeah, let's go to Desolo and try to find the portable furnace. I have plenty of fuel. 
What about this? How much fuel is left here? Oh, there's only one pack left. Okay, that's that's a mission for another day. We're gonna have to produce more fuel. Alright, let's go to Desolo. I am very sure that the portable furnace is here. Go down this way. Home base is this way. Pretty sure I have a landing pad set up. Mm hmm. Where's the landing pad? Why doesn't the landing pad show up on the on the interface? All right, whatever. Let's get that furnace and leave. Let's check here real quick. I don't see it. It has to be here. I know I found it. Oh, here it is. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck yeah, let's go. Why is it? What does this show the brain hologram? I don't, need, I don't need anything from here, so we're good. Let's go. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add that portable furnace to the train so that I don't have to constantly come back up to smelt stuff, you know? the home base let's get that rover out of the way I don't need it I don't need it there anymore pick up a couple of, the, pick up a couple of these things while I'm at it put them here I do need this large printer over there though This. I might need this. I might need this and Let's leave that crane there. Definitely gonna need the drill, but let's get the rover out of the way first. God damn it, this thing is so cumbersome. Come on. Come on, Gary. Come on. Yes, I named my rover Gary just now. All right. Here we go. Put this over on the train. Right there on the crane. That rhymed. Let's get these out of here. I don't need that. I don't need that on the train. And what is this? Oh, that's a printer. Let's take that. And there was a small printer somewhere. Here it is. That's going to be part of the base down there. Let's put down this battery right there. Some smelting furnace. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but okay, I guess. What's that sound? What's missing? 
What is missing for this mission? Platforms. More ceramic storages. Let's get some. I think at least one more should do the trick. So let's get three ceramics. We're low on ceramic, I just noticed. And print out large storage. Nice. Definitely going to want some packagers. So let's grab that dirt canister somewhere I left. Where did I leave it? It's on the rover. Let's get it. I need to make more graphite for packagers. I'm going to need a ton of packagers. And that's another addition I have to make down there. Let's uh, grab this. You go there. Put that there and put this here. Mm -hmm. This one goes on the train, actually. Wait for the large storage to print and uh, I can just bring resin down to make the platforms down there. What do you think? Oh, oh, before I go, let's make that rail station before I forget. It was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two aluminum. Two aluminum. Here it is. No, sorry. Two titanium, one copper, and one quartz. I don't have quartz. I'm gonna have to stop this thing for a second. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna make some quartz. Take this to the train. Yeah, because if I print the platforms now, I'm going to have less space than if I just bring the resin down. Uh, speaking of which, let's get some resin from the auto extractor. I'm going to bring this canister with me. Because I'm empty. I'm dry on resin. QTRT, where is it? Bring one. And unplug this. Let's put the trailers somewhere comfortable. You know, a little, little something for those of you that are watching right now. If you saw the thumbnail, <laughs> this is just a fun fact of how creative you can get when you're a YouTuber. I needed a backdrop, right? Because I wanted to take those items. Let me get an example. A little fun fact for you guys. Let's take the burrito itself. The, the legendary burrito. There. Basically a, a green screen, but it's gray. So I took advantage of that. That thumbnail you saw is with item, items that I put here and took screenshots of them. And then I, I separated, turned them into a PNG and put it on top of the, the background in the Canva website. Just a little fun fact. I'm going to take this down now. This is going to be our little secret. Nobody's going to know. You got to get creative when you're a YouTuber. I hope you liked the thumbnail. I, I, I was kind of proud of it. Let's put this burrito back where it goes. There you go. I was in the process of hiding this trailer system back here. I'm gonna unbuckle this. Take this with me. And this. I'm not gonna need the trailer system right now. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go get that resin. 
from the auto extractor. Oh, is this done? Is this done making? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's make some. Uh, one second. Why isn't this working? There you go. All right, just make me one quartz, one set of quartz right there. Just one. Okay, so when we come back, we're gonna get that quartz and make another rail station. I'm gonna take a little shortcut through the woods to the... Oh, no. Forgot to put the QTRTG. There you go. <laughs> Ran out of power right there. Let's go to the beacon where the auto extractor is. And replace the filled canister with the empty one. I like having things lit up, so probably in the future, off camera, I might just add some lighting here. But I come back here frequently, and I like things to look nice. No! Why does it always grab the wrong thing? I need to fix that. Let me get closer. There you go. Put that on there. Hey, would it accept it if I put it here? Yes, it does. All right. Oh, you know what? Matter of fact, let's pr let's get these out of the canister. And now it's empty. All right. Let's leave that bad boy right there. That's not the most productive site, though. That's fine. It doesn't slow it down, I think. All right, this is all the resin we're going to need for all the platforms we're making down there. Because we're going to need a pretty massive printing station. A little, uh, what do you call it? Production line, that's what you call it. We need to make a production line with those printers so that the burrito process can be fast. Let's park this right here. Take this back and... Take these on my backpack. All right, and the resin goes on that side. Let's put this here and then exchange this with that one. What am I missing here? This is aluminum. I'm missing copper because I, I need all the copper I can get for the work lights. That's why I have the crane on the train. Get one of these. Let's put these on the floor. I need I only need I only need one. Why is there organics everywhere? <laughs> so what the fuck? Why why are they just there's just stray organics everywhere I go? This one's coming with me. Let's uh, leave this producing graphite. And also let me see something. Put this resource canister here. Pick these up. Mm-hmm. What is this? Oh, here's all my copper. Let's take that. It's the one I gathered on the way down making the the train. So we're gonna put this here and we need an empty one. We actually need another empty. No, we're probably not going to need that. Because the furnace is going to burn any... Uh, what you call it? The portable smelting furnace is going to smelt any copper that we find down there. And that can be turned into... 
Speaking of which, let's put the small printer right here. We're gonna make a lot of work lights. Where are the work lights again? Here. All right. I'm probably gonna leave this on repeat. And put a silo on this. I think uh, I have a silo somewhere around here. Let's check it out. Unless I scrapped it. Yeah, I did scrap the silo. God, I hate silos. I don't want to have to print another one. Oh well. Let's just put this right here. It's fine. Work lights. Okay, so we have a little bit of a production system here. The crane's gonna gather malachite. The malachite is gonna go straight to this portable furnace right here, smelt into copper, and the copper is gonna go straight into the small printer. And the small printer is set up to automatically use that copper to print more work lights, which I'm gonna use to light up the rail post all the way down to the. Hey, look, there's some malachite right here. We can test it out. Let's put this here. Mm hmm. Oh, there's an even better system. Hold up. Let let that print real quick. Did it work? Where'd it go? It printed, but I... Oh, uh, it didn't work. No, it's printing it on the floor. Okay. Hold on one second. I think I can fix this. I just do a little... Let's fix this up. Put this... Uh... Put this here. Take these off. I don't know why they're there. Uh-huh. Okay. Now if I put this printer on this, theoretically, it should work, right? No, it did not work. Okay, uh, let's just turn off the printer. <laughs> that, that sucked. That really sucked. I'm gonna leave it on there though. Because I am gonna use it to print a lot of work lights on the way down. So what I'm gonna do is... Leave this here. Make this take out some copper. And... No. What if I bring it closer? I'm gonna make this work. No, it's not working. Uh, that kind of sucks. The train, the train, the train can't print into storages. That sucks. It can do it on the rover, though. Well. You gotta work with what you got, right? Uh, let's just take this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the floor. This this is gonna work for sure. We plug it into the rails, the rails power. And now, if we put this here, let's say I. Put some malachite on my backpack or something. And then put this to auto print. Ah, there it's filling up automatically. That's good. It's alright. It's, it's something. It's better than nothing. You gotta work with what you got, right? Okay, we're pretty set. Let's put a couple of these lights on the train itself. Uh, anything else I might need? Mm. I think that's good. Oh, 
one more light wouldn't hurt, right? Nah, let's just leave it like that. Okay. More storage. Then we need to bring something down. The rail station. That's the most important part. Let's get that rail station printed. So I need cords. I have one on my backpack. This thing's not making more. What's wrong with you? There you go. Two titanium, one copper, and one quartz. Get one of those quartz that I have stored. I'm gonna have to refill my jetpack right now. Uh, where's the copper? Two titaniums, they're right here. Shit, I'm full. I don't need this resin, let's put it over here. Alright, that's it. Start printing the rail station. Okay, while this is printing, I need to go get some water. <laughs> so, enjoy the printing process. I'll be right back. Give me a minute. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Let me turn this light off. Okay. Oh, look at that. I came back right when it was done. Voila. And voila. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, I'm about to run out of fuel on my jetpack, so let's take this last bit of hydrazine. Remind me to refill that fueling station. I gotta refuel the fueling station. What about that? Alright, here we go. We got a large printer. The medium printer is right here. Let me put it right next to the large one. And the small printer is on my backpack. Put it next to that one too. 
all of this all of this is going to be part of the system down there so let's do that another thing i might need is to package up the tractor i want to bring the tractor down instead of the instead of this thing although it will be useful to have a paver down there i'll leave that for another trip let's focus on making the train station down there did i bring the resin no i did not let's bring resin and turn these lights off for crying out loud <laughs> there you go i'll keep one on and put this resin on there let's bring some resin from the canister itself There's that one slot I got available, and I think that's it. The most important part is this rail station. Where did I put the rail post bundles, though? I left them... No, I didn't leave them down. I'm talking about the ones... Uh, the junctions, not the rail posts. Rail junctions, I left them right here. Okay. I have space on my backpack? Yes, I do. All right, so we're leaving. We got everything we need. Oh my God. Oh, this, it feels so good to, to make so much progress, dude. Okay, there's a little something here that's giving me OCD every time I come down. Get that. Take care of that. Yep, there you go. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. I don't want you. Little voxel right there. Let's get it. Where is it? Is it this thing? There it is. Gotcha. Is there one more? I thought I saw one more. Get that one. And that one. And this one. That one's too far. Now it's not. And this one? Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's, just, let's just go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to keep uh, removing voxels. I don't have packagers for that. Oh, I left the packagers. <laughs> Damn it. I need a lot of packagers. I'm just gonna bring a whole pack of, a whole, what do, you, what do you call it? A whole canister of graphite for this mission. This thing is done making. Yeah, 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 all right. Let's take this. We got 22 graphite, that means we can make 22 packages on the way down. So let's put it on this one. Put the lights up front. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. And I guess this can stay here for now. You're gonna hold these for me while I'm while I'm gone. I got the drill, I got all the materials I need, and extra fluid and soul canister for the crane while it's collecting malachite. Uh, everything should be good. Everything should run like a well greased machine, let's go. Onwards, here we go. There's a the little thing that reminded me to bring the packagers. <laughs> it's a good thing I I completely abandoned that little cap right there. Little capsule lid. Because now, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna print myself a packager. Oh, 
Say bye to the goddamn <laughs> resin. It rolled all the way down. Oh, what am I doing? Print the packager. And then put the packager on the lid. Grab the packager. Stick it on the lid. There you go. And now I don't have space for it, I think. I'll pick it up on the way up. I'll just leave it right there. It's ready to be picked up. And let's put this back on the train. That's why I brought the packagers. Because that debris is worth gold. Okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Turn off the output. Let's keep going. This is such a nice little ride. There's the resin I allowed to roll down. I'll pick it up if I remember it. <laughs> I don't care about it right now. Oh, we're missing lights here. All right, let's begin. What the fuck was that? Mm-hmm. Turn that on. Uh, let me take these rail posts out of my backpack. I don't need them on me. Not yet. Take these lights with me. Because I'm about to use them. This goes here. Turn it on. Okay, I already put one there. Put one here. Put another. Oh, this is where the rail junction goes. Let's call the car over. Just one, that's all I need. Okay, so we got this. The junction's gonna go over here, right? Put that somewhere comfortable. I need to spin this around, there you go. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. I love it. I'm gonna have to carve out this roof right there. Let's light the place up a little bit first. Okay. We'll bring the train over and use the crane to dig out that spot, that specific spot for the rail post junction. For the rail junction to have space. I need a little more. A little more space right there. Okay, let's start with the one right above the crane. This little wall right here. Uh-huh. There you go. Already looking good. This is what I have to do down in the cave. Let's not forget to put down uh, work lights on the way down. One here. That one's plugged in. This one has a light. I'm gonna put one here. And one down here.
That is not how it goes. Okay. Back to it. Let's start printing some lights on here. We're gonna need... I'm gonna need to turn this around first of all. So that I can grab the coppers. I'm also gonna need some flat ground. Let's put this back on for a second. I'm gonna make some flat ground so that I can set the printer on it. We're just gonna mass produce a couple of work lights here. Oh, there's malachite on this wall. I forgot about it. Let's get some. It's gonna start burning while I gather, uh, while I produce the work lights. Mm-hmm. Is that it? face of pure concentration. You don't see it right now, but I'm very focused right now. Alright. Let's uh, grab ourselves the printer. Should be on... No, it's not on this one. It's on this one. There it is. Let's put this printer right here. Grab the copper canister. Put it on the flat surface. I guess I'll make it. I guess I'll make it print the work lights on me. For now, just plug this in. Let's get some coppers on me. I count. I'll need at least four. Unless I get these rail posts out of my out of my pocket. And I have six slots. I don't need this QTRTG right now. So let's put it there. So I have. Eight slots. I put this here. There you go. Let's pick up seven. Seven coppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Theoretically, this is not printing the lights into my backpack. <laughs> No, it's not doing it. Aren't you supposed to work with me, not against me? Whatever. Just print them all. I'll pick them up. At least they're sticking to the ground. I can just pick them up. Okay, so that's eight. No, let's make one more. We got eight. Let's stick them in here. I don't have any empty storages, do I? I do. All right. I don't want this resin on me. Let's leave it. All right. So we're going to make a total of 16 work lights right now. Stupid. No, not really. I thought I was gonna... I know what I mean. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know how to explain myself what, what I was gonna do. I just know that this is gonna go on the train. Let me just make sure that it's on there. There you go. And let's get a couple more of these. Two. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And that's all the copper I have. Give me that. Take these. Four, five, six, seven. We got seven plus eight. We have a total of uh, 16, 15 work lights. Should start plugging them in. There's one. There's already one on this junction, right? Yeah. Put another one here. Another one here. Hello. Get in there. There you go. Another one up there. No! No, 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 don't roll down. Oh, that's fine. It's not a rounded object, so it's not gonna roll down. All right, let's go to the next one. Put one right here. Oh, I can actually fix this up a little bit. That looks really weird. Hold up. Might be a little better. Just have to clear this up a little bit. Get that. Oh, this one disconnected. go this is looking good put this one here and call the train because I need more work lights oh it's on the way <laughs> Here it is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one more. I just can't reach it right now. Eight. All right, let's go. Remind me to pick up all of this malachite. We're gonna need it. Guys, I'm looking for the copper canister. Where is it? I'm supposed to have a copper canister. <gasps> oh, I left it behind. Oh, hey, you have to get it. Shame on you for not telling me that I left my... my copper canister. <laughs> Shame. 
<laughs> now I have to take the loop de loops all the way here. Here we go. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's gather the rest of this malachite since I can reach it now. Good enough. Mm -hmm. forgot i need to pick up this right here with the crane boom look at all this malachite we have space for it right yeah we do Let me check something real quick. How much space do we have? Oh, we have plenty. We can keep gathering this malachite. You don't see any more Malachi, do you? Oh, wait. There's some. I think now that's it. Alright. Let's, let's uh, stick with that. And continue putting some copper. Some work lights, I mean. On the ceiling. Put these right uh, there. Same, that's a twist it is. Oh my god, I don't think that's supposed to do that. Can I fix that? Yeah, give me one second. I better I think I think that should help. And this one fell off too. Why did they fall off like that? So I'll put this here. All right, did I miss any posts? Yes, I did. Right here underneath the car. Put one right there. Put one here. And put one here. And one here. And call the car. Gonna have to get producing some more work lights. Pretty sure after I run out this time. Nah, you know what? I need to stop. I need so let's uh let's go finish up that train station. We'll do the Malachi thing later on. 
We'll do the work light thing later on. Gathering it? Yes. Gathering the work. Why do I always confuse the words? <laughs> so we're gonna gather the malachite. But we're not gonna make the work lights. Alright? Because I actually need to get ready for work. Let's uh, stick with that. We'll gather some more later on. But I do have some more space. Where's all that malachite going? And let's gather it. Okay, now I'm full because I saw, just saw Malachite rolling down. Let's take what we have and finish this uh, little train station. Whee! Yeah, this is working out pretty smoothly. Because while I'm driving the train, this thing is burning the... Uh, I mean, smelting the... The copper. All right, we're here. Okay, so the train station is its own platform. All we have to do is dismount it. I'm gonna put a put it right there. And. This is a good spot for a, a rail junction. I should work on that right now. Let's get one. One rail junction should do the trick. the way for a second no mm, I have to call it back one more There you go. Now I can take this off and replace it with a junction. Mm -hmm. Let's call the car to the train station and we're good, right? <laughs> the little music it plays. I like it. <laughs> Oof. Well, guys. I think that's a... Oh. oh my god. I needed that stretch. <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed if you've watched this far. That's my little... <laughs> my big little project. To get these burritos pumping, you know? Next thing we're gonna do, if I do it on camera, that is... I gotta set up this, this base right here to... 
essentially become a production facility of burritos i don't want to have to go up and down to make burritos i want to make them right here on the spot so that's the purpose of this entire rail junction i don't also don't want to have to drive i can i want this to be an semi-automated process because you can't make it fully automated so we're gonna do our best here to make burritos as efficiently as possible i will probably want 100 burritos before i get out of the cave i mean if i do leave the cave it's because i need something from the base but i won't be bringing any burritos out until i fill three to four canisters of burritos and send them into space and that's going to be the next mission so i guess we're setting ourselves up for success here this is the first part of our big burrito project so i hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and uh, this is not everything that i do i also make uh excuse me i also make some cool reviews uh travel content and other stuff you might enjoy so you can check those out in my channel you have a great day thank you for the privilege of your time and i'll see you in the next one